All right, today we have the blessing of starting a brand new book to uh, go through for our devotions. And uh, I think that God's led me to the book of Proverbs, which is great for devotions because, you know, there are 31 Proverbs, uh, 31 chapters in the book of Proverbs, which means that, it, you know, if you're trying to aim for a book that fits just nicely within the period of a month, uh, the Proverbs is it. Uh, I think that God's really going to bless you in uh, this study. I know for sure I'm looking forward to it as well. And I don't know anybody that wants to be unwise. You know, I don't know anybody that wants to live uh, like a foolish life. People may uh, roll their life out like that. But if you ask them directly, do you want to live like a fool? Most people for sure would say no. Uh, and as Christians, definitely we want to live our lives according to the wisdom of God. What we're going to do in this um, journey through Proverbs is we're going to take uh, one proverb, a couple of verses probably in each chapter a day, which means that, uh, you know, we're not obviously going to be going verse by verse, but um, every day there's going to be a proverb from one of the chapters. I think that'll give you the opportunity if you want to, to um, read the rest of the chapter and make sure by the uh, time we're done with this uh, devotion through Proverbs, you know, you've read the whole book, which I know God will bless you for. So today, open up your Bibles to Proverbs chapter 1, and our verse is verse 7. Uh, I would say most people believe this to be kind of the cornerstone, the linchpin uh, verse for the whole book, and the Bible reads this in verse 7, chapter 1, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge but fools despise wisdom and instruction. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. You have three things in this verse. You have instruction, not in order by the way. You have instruction, you have knowledge, and you have wisdom. I think a lot of people, when they think about wisdom and knowledge, you know, they think that they're the same thing. They're not the same thing, though they are linked together. They're different, and so let me just, say this about these three things in these verses. Knowledge is information. Um, knowledge also can be experience, but I think uh, with respect to the book Proverbs, we're talking about information. Instruction is teaching, so it's, it's, um, it's teaching that information. Wisdom is applying it. So in wisdom, you have not only the information and not only the instruction and the teaching that brings it, but you have the, the, the wisdom to apply it. Um, when we talk about wisdom from a biblical perspective, we're talking about knowing the mind of God and doing it. So um, I would say for sure, you know, people uh, can use wisdom in a lot of different ways, wise with respect to the world, uh, wise with respect to philosophy. But of course, when we're reading the book of Proverbs, all wisdom is really connected to the person of God. And so to be wise with respect to God means to know the mind of God, to, to understand it, to have the information, to have the experience with him, but then also to apply it. It's taking all of that and it's practically applying it in your life. When the Bible talks about fearing the Lord, and I want you to notice here in this verse, you know, the word Lord is in all capital letters. So we're talking about a very specific God. We're talking about Yahweh. We're not talking about the pantheon of Greek gods or um, comparative religions. We're talking about the, the fear of Yahweh. Uh, when the Bible says that, we're talking about reverencing Him and respecting Him, yielding our lives to Him and submitting to Him. So this particular proverb says the beginning of real knowledge all starts with yielding to, with respecting, with reverencing the God of the Bible. First of all, for sure, you have to know him. You have to have a relationship with him. To, to understand the knowledge of God begins with putting your trust and faith in Jesus Christ. That is the starting point. So you will never be wise with respect uh, to the Lord unless you've taken that step of faith and believed in Jesus. That's opened the door for God to pour his wisdom out into your life. There's the knowing of God. There's the seeking of God. So it's not just a, a single step that you take in the distant past of your life. It is a consistent, regular pursuit of him. It's 
It's seeking after him. And you'll notice that, you know, as we work our way through these chapters, that's the regular exhortation of Solomon who wrote the book of Proverbs. Uh, by the way, the Hebrew word Proverbs simply means wise sayings. Um, but there's this regular exhortation and encouragement to be pursuing after and seeking God. So, so there's the, the knowing of God, there's the pursuit of God, and then there's the application of those things that God speaks to us. So as God is gracious to bring that revelation, we take the next step. Listen, because you can have a lot of knowledge about God, but just because you have a lot of knowledge about God does not mean that you are a wise person. In fact, you know, there are people I've known across the uh, course of my Christian life who have been able to um, memorize whole books of the Bible. And yet, as you look at their life, there's this sharp contrast between what they know in their head and what they live out in their lives. So that person is a knowledgeable person, but that person is not a wise person. God wants you to link these two things together so that you not only have the blessing through his Holy Spirit of knowing his mind, knowing what it is that pleases him, knowing him, but then also taking that and also through the strength and power of his Holy Spirit, applying it to your life. That's what makes you wise. That's what will make you wise today, is taking what God has revealed to you and choosing in each and every circumstance of your life, choosing to apply that knowledge in a way that honors him and blesses him. I guarantee you over the next 31 days, we're going to grow in our wisdom of Yahweh. Father, thank you, God. I pray that you would help us. God, we definitely do not want to be a people just filled with information. God, we want this information to sincerely influence our hearts. God, we want to have lives that are changed. And so help us to yield our will, to walk in the fear of the Lord, to have that respect and reverence for you, where, whereby we surrender our lives to your truth. In Jesus' name, amen. Be wise today.